What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix an annoying little glitch with Steam. So, sometimes when you open up Steam, you'll see this over here, the header bar, the footer bar, and then a black window in the center. The store, library, community, and your profile page, of course, are all the same. Maybe some of them are working, like this over here, but the most important one, the library isn't. Clicking around like this does sometimes fix the issue for these other tabs, but it doesn't fix it for the library tab over here, which is the most important one, as this is where you launch games from. What exactly can you do to fix this issue? Well, first of all, the easiest thing to try is clicking Steam in the top left, followed by Exit. Then after it's closed, simply open up Steam once again. Now let's try and open up the library, and as you can see it's working as expected, I can go ahead and launch up games, uninstall games, manage my library, etc, etc. Great, but that is the simplest solution and likely something you already tried before you found this YouTube video. So what exactly can we do to try and fix this further? Well, there's a couple of steps ranging from easy to more difficult ones. First of all, if you have an antivirus installed, try simply pausing it. For ESET on my computer, I simply right click the icon, then click pause protection. It asks me for how long, I'll say maybe 15 minutes, and then restart Steam using Steam, exit, and launch it up again. If that doesn't fix it for you, then you can try running Steam as administrator. Steam, exit, then locate the Steam icon, right click on it, more, and run as admin. Or if you search for it, simply click the run as admin text over here while hovering over Steam. Or if it's on your desktop, as such, simply right click, followed by run as admin. This way, Steam should be able to fix any issues that appear on the disk, and hopefully the next time you launch it up normally, it should be fixed as well. If it doesn't, then it may be something to do with your graphics card drivers. Simply head across to your graphics card producer's website, i.e. Nvidia, AMD, or Intel, and download the latest version of your graphics drivers. For me, I'll simply search Nvidia drivers, and then click on the download drivers button over here. This will take me to this download page, I'll then select my driver type, GeForce, 10 series, 1080 Ti, search, download, and I'll install this when it's done. Of course, if you have something like GeForce Experience or whatever AMD's equivalent is, you can use that to update your graphics driver as well. This, of course, is a good step. Even if you're not struggling with this, it's always good to keep your drivers up to date. The next thing we can try is opting out of a beta if you're opted into one currently, or even vice versa. If you see the bar at the very top, we can click Steam followed by Settings, and then on the Account tab over here, Beta Participation, click the Change button, and then change from None, Opt Out of All, to Steam Beta Update. This is usually where I leave it. Or if you're on Steam Beta Update already, you can go back to None, and after clicking OK, you'll see this pop up over here asking you to restart Steam. Clicking Restart, Steam will close and update either to the beta branch or back off of it. Hopefully that'll work for you as it does mine, but of course if it doesn't, there is another option in that same settings window that some people recommend. I personally don't, as it's going to be annoying signing into Steam every time you start up your PC, and if you use something like my Techno Account Switcher to quickly switch between Steam accounts, that'll unfortunately be broken as well until this option is unchecked. Don't save account credentials on this computer. You can check this, click OK, and restart Steam. But for me, I'll definitely leave this unchecked, as it's working currently. After restarting Steam, you may be asked to log in again, and it may have fixed it. Simply switching to the beta branch is usually more than enough. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.